Hi YouTube, this is uh, Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. I'm Rosemary, your Sunday blogger. Today uh, we are going to discuss what were we big from childhood and um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm not reading the actual, the actual, the, I, I didn't go to the website. But anyway, um, so yes, I've always been big. And I'm going to show you some pictures here in a minute. Let me show you. Let me turn you around real fast. There I am. And there I am. And there I am. Really happy there. And there I am. And guess what, guys? In every picture, I'm smiling. <laughs> yep. Kind of comes with the rosemary territory, you know? I'm always smiling. And that's not such a bad thing. That's a good thing. But you know what, guys? As a child, uh, I've always been a big girl. Both my sister and I. But we're talking about me. So I'm going to go and I'm going to talk about me. And uh, I started developing around nine. And uh, men used to see me as attractive. And I want to say, not other nine-year-olds. I'm talking about men. <laughs> men in my neighborhood. Men when I would walk to school. Men. Men would find me attractive. Men would s stop and say, you know you look attractive or you're attractive you're an attractive young lady when I was just nine ten and that scared me and um, not to really go back in my in my in my memory bank but um, I think I used food as a protection um, and you know, my daughters watch my videos, and so I really don't want to go in to my childhood. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say, and my girls do know about uh, what went on in my life, but I never have really gone into detail, so I really don't want to go there. Um, but I was molested as a child, and I think that uh, my life started changing at nine, and I. I used food as a protection. Um, food for me was a way of not dealing with what happened to me. And I'm going to kind of clarify this. I have forgiven. Honestly, I can honestly say with a pure heart that I have forgiven the person, the, the people that... Um, hurt me and they are only when I remember these things in my mind they become only memories I walk away from the pain because I can honestly say that part of me has been dealt with I gave it to God I have forgiven that person these those people that hurt me and uh, like I said, I really don't, I'm a pretty private person when it comes to stuff like that. Maybe if you were sitting here, by, you just, just me and you, you know, I could spill my guts out. I could let you, I could tell you some stories. But um, I choose not to right now. And uh, maybe in Las Vegas when you girls, you know, want to take some time and talk. And, you know, if somebody's going through something and, and is having a hard time uh, forgiving something, then maybe. But, um here no <laughs> I'm not gonna put it out on YouTube anyway so I used food as a protection in my childhood and uh, and in all these photos that you saw you see me smiling and you know how you can remember photos you can remember where you were standing and how you, you know oh I remember that day oh I re you know and I'm thinking about these pictures and in two of these pictures I am smiling, but I'm also, I'm remembering the pain in two of the photos. So, I used, I guess, my smile as a, as a protection also. Uh, 
I'm a, always been like a people pleaser. I've always tried to please you because I wanted you to like me. You know, as a child, I wanted you to love me. I wanted you to like me. And um, I found ways, you know, like like cooking and, and uh, baking. And uh, now... Now that I'm I'm learning my body, because I mean I've only been I've only been this rosemary for five years, and I'm just it's taken a while to really because uh, see I had to crawl first like Ruby said when uh, not too long ago I saw uh, Ruby was talking to Oprah and she says she's just now crawling. Well I'm I had to crawl and now I'm walking. Now I'm kind of walking up straight and going, yeah, that's why I went through that. And that's, you know, you know, uh, I, I, I've learned to be strong. Because my mom used to say that in this world, there was no room for, for weak people. You either, you know, got strong because weaklings uh, didn't exist in the world. They just didn't. They get trampled. And you have to learn to stand up straight and walk in this world. And uh, my mom was a strong person. And uh, I miss her. I miss her with all my heart. And uh, there's times where I wish she was sitting right here. But Connie always walks in her place for me. But anyway, uh, so I'm just answering the question, uh, It was I fat and how did I get fat as a child? And I can tell you... There was uh, issues that I really can't discuss right now uh, with you. Uh, it's pretty personal. But I used food as a defense, as, as a medicine, I guess. And uh, so I hope I've answered the question. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say other, other than that. And uh, they're just memories now in my life. And I've learned to walk straight and uh, love myself. And uh, be happy with those off-scale victories. They're wonderful. You know, sitting here and crossing my legs and having room and on the other side of the chair here in my rocker and enjoying every day, enjoying my YouTube friends that just love me and I love them and I'm going to get to go to Las Vegas and meet you guys. Um, it's an awesome thing. I'm learning to love myself. Yeah, I look in the mirror and there's things I don't like and I think that maybe you wouldn't like. And it scares me, but it's an it's a step by step situation for me. So I hope you come back next Sunday, and we'll talk some more. And please rate, please let me know what you thought of of what we talked about today. I'll talk to you next Sunday. See you later. Bye.